With Mike Frabel gone, the Titans have officially started their search for their new head football coach. Today, we're going to go through eight candidates that I think would be good and fit well with Tennessee. Four offensive-minded guys, four defensive-minded guys. We'll go through all eight of those today on today's show. But obviously, the search already underway. We'll tell you about what's going on with that as well. But if you want to know who the Titans hire right away, well, then turn on the notifications. We're going to get you covered all offseason long with who the Titans hire, who the Titans draft, who we think the Titans will draft. If there's a free agency center, if there's a cut, if there's a trade, we have you covered. So turn on those notifications to make sure you are in the loop and everything revolving the Tennessee Titans. But without further ado, let's get it going with Mike Vrabel replacements here on Titans Today. Glad you chose to spend some of your day with us here on Titans Today. I'm your host, Jay Sanders. And, well, I talked about here we're going to talk about four offensive minds and four defensive minds. I think it's more likely the Titans go offensive-mindedly just because Vrabel was that defensive mind. So let's start with the offensive coaches that I think the Titans could and should hire. With the first one, the most obvious one, the guy who has been really the talk of the entire league. Ben Johnson, the offensive coordinator for the Detroit Lions, has been one that has been labeled as a top coaching prospect. And now, well, it's his time to shine. Obviously, the Lions still in the playoffs at this current moment. So we'll have to see, you know, how long they are, all that goes along. But obviously, requests are coming in for Ben Johnson. Now, if you look at Ben Johnson's resume, he joined the Lions just back in 2019 as an offensive quality coach. And yet, he still rose the ranks very quickly going to offensive coordinator back in 2022. So there's the two years of, of the experience. Plus, the offensive rankings last year, fourth. Well, did he improve? Because that was last year. Uh, yes, he went to third in the NFL this year. 394.8 yards per game, third in the NFL. This guy's averaging almost 400 yards with Jared Goff, Amon Ross St. Brown, Jameer Gibbs, David Montgomery. I mean, they do have a good offensive team, but still, you got to have a guy to kind of steer that ship. They're fifth in the NFL in points per game at 27.1. Ben Johnson, if you want an offensive mind, he is the cream to the crap. He was the guy that you want on your coaching staff. So will the Titans go after him? I think they should. If I'm Amy Adams Strunk, I'm going after him. If I'm Rand Carthen, I'm giving him a call right now and say, hey, we want to request an interview. Obviously, you got to go through these teams and say, hey, I want to request this, we want to request this. And the Titans have had some requests for a couple of guys, but to my knowledge right now, Ben Johnson is not on that list. So, uh, Amy Adams, I'm not exactly in your favor right now considering the whole verbal firing, but you can put me on your good side if you ask for Ben Johnson. The second guy we got to look at is Brian Callahan, who I will mention has already gotten a request to be interviewed by the Tennessee Titans. They sent that over to Cincinnati this morning. So Brian Callahan could possibly be interviewing with the Titans sometime this week. Now, going with Brian Callahan, he's more of the overall offensive, I'm going to say guru in this sense. It's not like Ben Johnson where he's kind of molded onto the scene and just absolutely exploded. This guy's been in the works for a long time at only just 39 years old. He's also already had three head coaching interviews with Denver, Indiana, and Arizona throughout the past year or so. And he works along Zach, Tyler, Zach Taylor to kind of formulate this offensive game plan and the entire game plan each week. So if he's working with the head coach of a team who is predominantly in the playoffs when they have their actual quarterback starting and Joe Burrow is not hurt, I like those odds. Plus, a big, big key in this 39 years old, you can get this guy and have him for a very long time. I think it's worth a shot, and that was the first guy that I saw this morning the Titans requested to interview. Keep a watch. Callahan could be a very good option, and it seems as though offensive-minded, well, this would be a pretty good fit right here. Now, the third guy is one that a lot of people are talking about as a potential offensive coordinator replacement, but I think he deserves a little bit of head coaching remarks. That's Ken Dorsey. He's the former offensive coordinator for the Buffalo Bills, and he is the former because he was his scapegoat. And I'll tell you why in just a minute, but he's gained praise from some top players in the NFL and some top players that he coached, including Josh Allen, who said this about Dorsey, saying, I feel like I owe him a lot of the success that I've had in my career, and he's been a huge part of that. So it's sad to see him go. The fact is, we play better as a team. We probably don't have to make a move like that. He was a big part of what we've been doing here in the last few years. This was obviously after Dorsey was fired, and Allen kind of felt responsible because the team wasn't playing up to what it should be. And funny enough, he's right. The, the team was really the problem, to be honest. It wasn't the offense. If you look at their offensive numbers, Mina Kim's giving us this, first in success rate, third in EPA per play, 
fourth in QBR, third in yards per play, second and third down conversion, and third in red zone efficiency. I mean, Ken Dorsey was just labeled as the scapegoat in all this. It was not his fault to get fired with the Buffalo Bills. Have they done well since they fired him? Well, yes, of course, but I think it was more or less just a change. It wasn't Ken Dorsey. It wasn't Josh Allen. It wasn't the team. It was just needing a change. Well, Ken Dorsey, you've got my respect, and if you want an offensive mind, a head coach, why not go test it out? I mean, ultimately, Tennessee, just try and interview anybody you can. See what they give you. I'm all for interviewing some top candidates, but hey, go ask this guy. What could you do for us? Maybe you get some good answers. So I think Ken Dorsey would be a good one to just kind of talk to. Maybe a little bit on the lower totem pole other than Brian Callahan and Ben Johnson, but still a guy that I would look at. Now, the fourth guy is one that there is a lot of experience and somebody who would fit very well into an offensive playbook. Eric Bieniemy, former Kansas City Chiefs offensive coordinator, now with Washington, who has been doing a lot of amazing things at Washington, which we will tell you about in just a second. But I'm telling you what, here's four offensive-minded coaches is there somebody that sticks out? Who is your choice for an offensive head coach? You got Ben Johnson, Brian Callahan, Ken Dorsey, and Eric Bieniemy. So let me know who's your choice for an offensive head coach out of these four, or is there somebody I missed that you liked better? Let me know in the comment section down below who's your choice for an offensive head coach, either these four or somebody that I missed. The big numbers to look at with Eric Bieniemy. Washington's pre BNME year numbers and post BNME year numbers. Now you got 23, and this is the year he's had them. He improved the points per game by almost two points. He improved the yards per play, although minimally, but the two important stats on the bottom there third down percentage went up by a little bit, and the biggest one, red zone touchdown percentage went up just under 15%. That's a huge number, especially with a Washington offense that struggled last year. And now you have Sam Howell, of all people this year, leading this offense. And guess what? It was pretty good. They did well overall throughout the season. I like what Biennemi showed, and I think he has the opportunity to be a head coach. He's one that's been talked about in the Chargers position. I think it needs to now be talked about with the Titans as well. So we've given you four offensive-minded head coaches. And in just a second, we're going to tell you about the defensive-minded head coaches, which may be the way the Titans go. I think it's an interesting situation because Mike Verbal was defensively minded and this team is growing into a more offensive mold than defensive. So would you want to go after an offensive head coach or are you going to stick with what has worked for the most part and go back to a defensive minded head coach? Well, we'll tell you what I think and the four candidates on the defensive side of the ball that I think the Titans should go after. But if you're looking for some more Titans gear, you're trying to support the Tennessee Titans even in the offseason, even after the Bravo firing, well, I'll tell you what. We told you yesterday about a hat and t-shirt combo. Well, guess what? We got another hat and t-shirt combo today, a little bit different, though. It's got a little nice pattern, has the Tennessee Titans, a little bit more of an older style hat, got the navy blue. It looks nice, and if you go to chatsports.com slash 10 combo, you're going to get this for literally, supposedly it's all it's gonna be 25% off right here. So 25% off. Usually it's around 40 bucks, 50 bucks. Now you're gonna get it for around 20, 30. So pretty good deal if you go look at that. It's a pretty snazzy shirt if you want to support the team over the offseason. This is a good way to do it. Obviously, a lot of good things to look forward to. Titans still have the number seven overall pick. A lot of good things. Get the shirt to wear on draft night, have a good time. And hey, when the Titans do make that move at head coach. You're going to have some gear already ready. Again, chatsports.com slash 10 combo. We're going to put that in the comments and the description of this video if you want to go check out that deal. The defensive minded head coach at the top of the list is, to no surprise, Dan Quinn. The Titans have requested to interview Dan Quinn already. He is one that the Titans, obviously, not just the Titans, but the entire league has looking at as a top tier coaching candidate. And he has some head coaching uh, let's say years. He was with the Falcons from 2015 to 2020. Uh, he was the guy who really led them to that Super Bowl. Unfortunately, yes, he does have that knock of 28 to 3, and we won't get too much into that, but he is one of the best defensive minded head coaches, or excuse me, minded coaches in the NFL. And he could get another shot here at the head coaching position. It seems as though it'll be somewhere. Obviously, with now Pete Carroll being fired, Seattle is a premier destination for Dan Quinn, but the Titans should go in. They've already requested an interview for him. He would be a good option if Tennessee could maybe fight for that running. The second guy to look at is Raheem Morris. And if you Hear the name, but don't exactly remember what, what are you talking about? Well, Raheem Morris was in that a mold of Washington coaches that had Mike McDaniel, that had Kyle Shanahan, that had Sean McVay. Raheem Morris was there too, and he's the next guy to get a head coaching job out of those guys. He's been a coach in the NFL and college since 2002. He was the Buccaneers head coach from 2009 to 2011. And here's the thing. 
This guy has done it from both sides of the ball. He's not just been a defensive coordinator. He has done it with offense. He has done it with defense. He's done it with special teams. This guy has been in football for, I mean, to be quite honest, as long as I've been alive, if that makes kind of sense. So overall, this would be a good guy to kind of mold in here, slot in. He can do offense. He can do defense. He can fit in any way you would like to see him. I'd like him to get him a shot, and I believe I saw his name on the list of Titans interview requests, so could be a chance there. Brian Flores, the defensive coordinator for Minnesota, is the next one that you got to look at and see, okay, how could the Titans get him? I think Flores is one of those borderline ones as he has had some success in the league, obviously working with the Miami Dolphins back in 2019 uh, through 2021, now going really, I'm going to say at the helm of a decent defense with Minnesota. Not a great one, but a decent one, and obviously, I think the biggest thing is he has a smart mind for a coach. He has shown success, both at defensive level, at the head coaching level. Um, he knows what he's doing. And I think if you're a smart person here, it's the one guy that you just kind of take a look at. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. But obviously, go look and see if it's a potential for Brian Flores to maybe have a chance to become the Titans head coach. And the last one, some of y'all may laugh, Jeff Fisher, the former head coach of the Tennessee Titans, and, uh, well, I'm going to tell you what he's doing here in just a minute, but uh, you'd be a little surprised. Jeff Fisher, a guy who has been uh, a journeyman. He's been really in football since uh, before I was born, 18, uh, excuse me, 1980s area, 1985. He's been in football. He coached with the Titans for 15 years back in 1995. And if you can't believe me, he is actually the current GM for arena football team in Nashville. Huh. Now, he's been in football in his entire life, playing it, going to coaching, and he's still in it being the GM. I think it'd be cool to see Jeff Fisher, who has ties back, and I think he could fit in really well. I will say that I think this is probably a little bit less likely than the other coaching candidates just because he hasn't been a coach in the NFL for uh, quite some time at this point. Uh, kind of been going around arena football teams, the USFL, the XFL, been kind of a journeyman since leaving the NFL, but overall, I think it'd be an interesting hire. It would certainly catch some eyeballs, and he does have a lot of success with the Titans. It's one thing to look at when you're looking throughout these coaching candidates. All right, I asked you this with the four offensive candidates. Here's the four defensive candidates. Who is your choice for a defensive head coach? Would it be Dan Quinn, Raheem Morris, Brian Flores, Jeff Fisher, somebody I missed? Let me know in the comment section down below. You had to pick one of these guys for a defensive head coach. Get in the comments, let me know. Is it Flores, Morris, Quinn, Fisher, or somebody I missed? Let me know in the comment section down below. We appreciate you watching here on this Mike Vrivel replacements. Obviously, it's a uh, troublesome time for the Titans organization. I know there's uh, split split opinions on this. Some people very happy with the Mike Vrivel hire or firing. Some people pretty upset with firing Mike Vrivel. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. You still got to focus on your team. You still got to focus on the Titans. And now the mindset is, who's next? I think there's a lot of good options. Uh, it's just about what Amy Adams Strunk can do, along with Rand Carthen. I mean, you're a first time GM. Uh, go find yourself a new head coach, boy. So we appreciate you watching. As always, make sure you subscribe at youtube.com slash Titans Today or scroll down, little red subscribe button, press that, it'll turn gray. I'd certainly appreciate it. But as always, Titans fans, tighten up. Peace out.